Hey everyone, just want to start things off with a quick note that Shore Manor Studio is back on Kickstarter with a new campaign for my latest spooky novel, Flight of the Phantasmodactyls. It's the latest installment in my Zombiosaurus series, and it's the perfect book to reserve during the holiday season. I mean, it's spooky, it's Christmas, of course, right? So check it out, show some support, maybe even help spread the word. Now, on with the show. All right, here's a full view of Shore Manor for Christmas. We're going to do an up-close tour of everything, so stick with me. We'll be checking out everything festive and, of course, everything spooky. We'll start things off with this unicorn. It's adorable and sort of probably does seem out of place given what we usually do here at Shore Manor. But this was a gift for my three-year-old daughter. Uh, she wanted a Christmas decoration to go along with her brothers, which we'll be checking here in just a second. So uh, she got a blow up unicorn. She really loves it. It's really cute. My wife loves it as well. Uh, but that, that's a, a good way to kick things off. If we move over here, here's something with a little bit of history. This is a rather old decoration. This first one here is actually the Grinch. Traditionally, the Grinch is green. Yes, <laughs> but I, I created this when I was still in high school. We're not going to talk about how far back that was, but uh, it's based on the original book drawings of how the Grinch stole Christmas rather than the classic uh, cartoon and uh, Jim Carrey fair. So that's why he is just white, because he was only drawn white in that book. So here he is leaning up against another old decoration, a soldier slash nutcracker. This is actually a former decoration from my parents' yard. But when Amanda and I got married, they told us that we could take this to put it in our own yard uh, decoration. So he's been part of our yard every Christmas ever since. And uh, he and the Grinch, the Grinch tends to move around the yard. I've placed him in different spots. I've leaned him up against the mailbox or the house or different things. But this year I decided to lean him up against the soldier. So here he is. And I mentioned that we were going to be checking out my son's decoration. This is his. Amanda has decided that he's going to start getting a uh, blow mode snowman every year. So we've actually already got one for him this year. It's just not out yet because it will be a Christmas gift. But here's the here's last year's uh, blow mode snowman. Standing next to, and I'm going to take a wide view of this, are candy canes. Now... <clears throat> These are also an older decoration, about as old as the Soldier and the Grinch from my parents' yard. And uh, they were handcrafted by a friend of the family. But uh, the years, you know, standing, uh, being exposed to the weather and time has taken a toll. We actually used to have six of these at one point, but they just all started falling apart. So now we just have three. And it's why, as you can see here, we brought out the uh, stakes that normally we use just for Halloween to uh, help with our lighted walkway here. But if we keep going, here's our other candy cane. Moving on a little bit further, as you can see another Halloween post helping us out. And then the final candy cane. It's a little bit of a shame because they, they're cool. You, you can't replace these. They were, you know, they were all one of a kind. And we, we did our best And this one, as you can see, we're already uh, working on keeping him repaired with some duct tape and paint. Uh, constant repair jobs on these things, but we're going to keep them going as long as we can uh, because they do still look good. Uh, these these still look very, very good, so we're taking as great care of them as best we can to keep things going and to keep things nice and festive here on this side of Shore Manor. Now, as we continue along the path, we have our bushes, which are opposite of our lighted path here. Uh, I made the choice long ago that I would always light our shrubbery with green lights uh, i thought it was just a cool effect it's something that i i did now when we first started at our old house we actually also had uh blue icicle lights but our current house is twice as tall our roof is twice as steep and i made it clear to my wife i am not climbing up there just to hang christmas decorations so the only blue at the t this moment is on this one and only shrub <laughs> Because we had one extra thing of just regular blue lights. So there they are. Now if we continue over here is our nativity scene. This is something that we have added a little bit to every single year. It started out with just Mary and Joseph. Of course, Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. And then later on, we were able to get our hands on a cow and a donkey. 
And this year, our newest decoration, or addition, I should say, is this camel, who obviously should have Wiseman with him, but that hasn't been an addition yet this year. We're still looking. So that's how the nativity set stands this year in front of a nice shrub uh, filled with uh, white lights to go with the angelic theme of that one. And last, but most certainly not least, this being Shore Manor, we do have to bring in a little bit of a creepy vibe because, you know, that's who we are. And let's face it, uh, the Yuletide season is not without its share of ghost stories. That is how uh, Charles Dickens, of course, gave us a Christmas carol, which is what inspired this. Here we have the Scrooge and Marley counting house. And there in the window, you see Marley's spectral ghost projection greeting anybody who drives past our lawn, standing right next to our giant skeleton, Bruce. You can see my shadow there. Sorry, trying to stay out of it. But there he is standing in as the ghost of Christmas future. This is the second year that I have done this. And uh, my newest addition this year was adding in the wrought iron fence. I think it really adds something extra to it. I like it a lot. I just set these up this year and I, I think it looks fantastic. Uh, if you have any thoughts, feel free to let me know down in the comments. But uh, if you don't like it, just be gentle, okay? Now, last year, when I did this for the first time, I actually had a shroud over his head just to make him as authentic as I possibly could to look like the ghost of Christmas future. But the winds that we get here where we live, uh, they just kept on knocking it off. And it just got so frustrating just putting it on. I had to get out and put it back on his head every single day. So this year I just decided I'm just going to let him, we're just going to see his skull. <laughs> He's just going to be a little bit of a lazier version this year because it was just too much work. But even with that, I still just think it looks spectacular, especially with the fencing all around it. Uh, we And the Scrooge Scrooge and Marley sign there on the left and Marley in the window. Uh, it's just really cool. And it was a great excuse to be able to do something spooky for Christmas. I keep asking Amanda to let me put out a Krampus, but every year she says no, but I'll keep trying. And, and then maybe someday for that tour, uh, I'll be able to show you guys a, a Krampus. But for now, this is a very, very good one. And I hope you guys liked this. I hope you guys liked uh, the rest of the our yard. Um, admittedly, we don't go quite as spectacular as we do for Halloween, but uh, maybe we'll get there eventually. It's just a little bit tough right after Thanksgiving, you know, with all that turkey and dressing and stuffing in your, in your gut. It's, it's just, it's hard to get motivated. But anyway, we got everything out. I hope you liked it. Uh, let us know any thoughts you got down in the comments. Uh, you know, and as always, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. But thanks for, thanks for joining me for this tour, walking the grounds of Shore Manor at night. As always, stay spooky and happy haunting.